welcome to Aussita.net. Why is GNOME better than KDE or other classic style desktops? In the past I was a lover of classic GNOME, that's right, the one with the bar at the bottom. The classic style that Windows has crafted into our brains, as the only way of working and interacting with a desktop. The bottom bar and the drop-down menus where to find a setting we have to go through menus and sub-menus. Windows has decided to insert banners and advertisements here too and to open random windows with advice on what we should or shouldn't do or the weather or latest news. I haven't used Windows for decades but it seems to me that on Windows 11 they did something hybrid but people are shocked by the new management. The problem is in the heads of billions of users accustomed to working in the slow classic way and in change. Changing from annoyance and repulsion, the average Windows user is used to having dozens of icons on the desktop, dozens of useless and invasive programs, two or more expired antiviruses that continually open random windows, but they're fine with that. Then there are the advanced users who cannot break away from their Windows mode with the bottom bar and icons, I was one of them, when GNOME Shell arrived I felt disgust and repulsion but I persisted, I loved GNOME as a desktop concept and the first versions of such unstable shells seemed so far from my way of working. Don't have icons on the GNOME desktop and don't have the granite bar at the bottom. How to operate between two open folders that are not actually fixed on the screen? Now I can work much faster than before, the secret is in GNOME's app-centric vision, the space is totally dedicated to the application in use, but just move the cursor to the top left for the magic to happen. I would never switch to KDE or any old-style desktop, I would feel slow as an elephant. Do I need to open a setting? Cursor at the top left, the magic position, I start typing what I'm looking for in the bar and instantly I have what I need. I open two file instances and pass files from one to another, any open window remains open dynamically, there is a physical, perceptible and extremely pleasant sensation of dynamically having everything under control. Under control is the keyword, only what you need is on the screen and only when you need it, it comes and goes in a flash, you don't see it but it's always there. It takes years of experience but then you will no longer be able to do without it. Many hate GNOME, because it is a totally different concept and way of thinking about the desktop. Version 46 is incredibly fast, the best I've ever tried, in rest mode you don't see anything except a discrete black bar at the top. The animations are state of the art, a real pleasure in daily use. No pop-up advertising or advice to install this or that, a dynamic but stealth system, ready to use by moving the cursor to the top left. The operating system is not the protagonist, but the protagonist is you and it remains in the background, you invoke it only when needed, you mix it, you manage it. You don't have to be afraid of the void. All with a single gesture, the cursor at the top left. Many criticize GNOME Shell because they consider it more similar to a tablet interface and only install minimal systems that take up very few resources because it is geeky to use minimal interfaces. But Linux is not just meant to revive old junk computers, what we call Linux is superior to Windows on any machine if we break our mental barriers. The system doesn't tell you what you have to do, it doesn't suggest anything, it doesn't attack you, everything is clean, safe, at your service, and free. There are no limits, the only limit is you, you can continue to use Windows, you can continue to use antivirus, or you can make the right choice by switching to the right side, whatever desktop environment you want to use you can always switch to the right side, think about it.